13 for Overton, not quite enough for Somerset. Despite an inspired performance with the ball from Craig Overton, who picked up new career best figures of 7 for 57, Somerset's batting let them down again. The ground clawed back, conceded, and Essex left needing just 81 runs on day three for the win. The innings were still in its infancy though, Brown already gone courtesy of Overton, and eyebrows were raised early on the third day. A glimmer of hope, thanks to Overton again, night watchman Cook out bowled. In the blink of an eye, Essex were four down, Siddle with two in the next over, Alistair Cook first, caught behind for three, and then England's Dan Lawrence, out without troubling the scorers. Critchley joined Wesley at the crease, and the pair tried to usher in a sense of calm to proceedings, but Overton was once again determined, and the visitors pegged back, a tenth in the match for the England bowler, when Critchley dragged on to depart for 15. It was remarkable stuff, three balls later, Overton had the captain, Wesley caught behind for six, you couldn't take your eyes off it. Rossington and Wheater took the required runs down to 27 when Overton struck again. A second consecutive Pfeiffer sealed for the Somerset man. Wheater trapped in front for 17. Just three wickets needed now for what had looked an unlikely victory. That was just two when Siddle had his third. Four balls later, Harmer out LBW for a duck. A gorgeous drive down the ground from Rossington left Essex needing fewer than 20. And a rare loose Overton delivery was put away by the on loan Northamptonshire man, who looked like he decided to accelerate with the finishing line now just 14 runs away. The scores were level when Overton had his sixth of the innings and 13th in the match. Snater lifted a catch to Lamanby. Overton had run himself into the ground when Stachetti scrambled a run from a leg by to seal the win for Essex. The bowler crumpled in a heap. A quite remarkable performance had made this contest so much closer than it ought to have been. He finished the match with impressive figures of 13 for 87, and with an effort like that, he was unfortunate to be on the losing side. But ultimately, Somerset's batting had crumbled once more, something they'll look to rectify when they return to LV County Championship action away at the Kia Oval against Surrey next time out. Essex, meanwhile, will breathe a sigh of relief, but the tests keep coming. They're off to Edgebaston next week, hoping their match with Warwickshire won't be quite such a nervy affair. <laughs>